What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with One Hive Labs next cleanup episode. I happen to have a special guest star for this cleanup episode because he was the one that performed the cleanup. I am here with One Hive 2.0's one the only McGrady. How you doing my friend? Hey, I'm humbled. Like I'm not any star at all. I just help <laughs> clean up things. That <laughs> but I'm, I'm happy to be here. The Town Hall 9 MVP of our uh, first uh, CWL match. So that's pretty cool. I'm wonder, I was wondering how, do you know, Grady, maybe real quickly, what are they doing with those the, the attacks they recorded? Do you know? Uh, yeah, I, I watched on YouTube that they are doing kind of a recap. I think that uh, Power Bank himself is doing those. Like, they select the attacks they like the most, and they they make kind of a recap video. I think that if you check on YouTube the CW Leak uh, channel... Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. So they're doing like a compilation video probably for each week, like a couple of the best attacks from each matchup sort of yep. thing. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Anyways, check that out, guys. It's awesome. We got uh, our first week uh, Zerds and McGrady features, so that is real cool, but uh, this is McGrady's other attack, and um, we're going to jump in. Sports buff had a 99% here, so just looking at, at this base now, Grady, um, I can tell you I was helping sports plan this hit, and for the most part, I thought it was a great plan. I think that walk from 12 to 3 is just crazy good value and you'd be yep. silly not to try some form of air attack knowing you know there's not a lot of high hit point structures to get through so she's going to get from air two to two air defenses very quickly exactly it's in a spectacular read because also like if you check at 11 uh you can see that there's no way there's a tesla there so you can uh like there's just one space between buildings so you can kind of assume that you can use minions even on a fresh hit to funnel your queen in and that's what sports buff and you guy uh you guys like checked uh, and and read and and and, uh, and plan for yep. and then, as you said, you can get a couple of uh, air defenses, use upquake, the middle one, and then the other one has a clear, clear path with loons. So, yeah, that's the thing that I, th I, I think you guys uh, set up for him. Yep. Uh, uh, and, uh, well, a couple of unfortunate things happened, and maybe it's time to just r jump uh, and, and watch Sports Buff Attack, maybe? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, just hit and play now. Uh, you're going to see him drop these minions, like you mentioned, down around the 11 o'clock location, get that dark. Uh, dark barracks down as quickly as possible. Uh, gets that queen down. Probably a little tight on that queen. I might not have wanted to maybe aggro the king instantly. I don't know. Yeah. I agree. That's the first thing I noticed, and I th I think that there was an angle where you can kill the gold mine without aggroing the king, and uh, I think that that was much better since it allows you to rage earlier and not use the ability. Well, yeah, that was the big thing. You had yep. to use the ability there, right? And that uh, could have been very helpful later on. Yep. Um, but recovers fine, you know, gets gets the rage down, starts working through all this stuff, and he's going to now, you're going to see how quickly he goes from basically right where he dropped the queen, almost right to that next air defense. So it goes down very quickly. So he gets the baby drag down, another drag going down at the 6 o'clock, start kind of getting a funnel going, and just wants to sweep them now from right where they are, get them in through that uh, defensive yes. queen, and, and then cross. Uh, if you may, if I may, like uh, here, the couple of bad things happen at the start, which is like he soaks up two black mines just right off the start uh, on those on those dragons, and that eventually uh, is his demise because, as you can see, he loses a couple just very very early on, to point defenses and to the opponent queen, and uh, yeah, like that's just a lot of DPS that will not be used on the rest of the base, and basically it's half the base is left, and uh, you kind of think that hey. Mm, it's not that bad, but maybe it can play a factor later on. Yeah. And that, unfortunately... <laughs> and then the Hound came up. <laughs> yeah. That was the next unfortunate thing, because the dragons that he did have left, like he still had four left. One, The third one is almost dead. Um, but the Hound comes out and stalls these dragons over here for so long. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes, and then you can see that he sends, uh, like, the... You mentioned the loons he sent uh, on our previous conversation, and yeah, like, he couldn't target the, the air defense as fast as he uh, he wouldn't want because of that hound, as you yeah. just mentioned. And then you are in that game that, hey, like, I cannot do anything because I have used everything that was uh, on my power to use, and uh, I have my king there, maybe. He's trying so hard. Stuff. Trying so hard, get to that air defense, but it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, he ends up 
ends up pittering out here. The queen walks over and can't reach the dark elixir storage. And yeah, and the unfortunate skellies yeah. that feel the smaller, the smaller yeah. troops. Yeah, hold everything. her up for a few seconds and GG. It's yeah, it's that thing that hey, maybe if everything goes right, I can still get it. But then like the, the worst thing happens, like skellies here, and then her defense doesn't get down, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And hey. Excellent attack, excellent read, good execution as well. But hey, like one tweak here, one tweak there, and you can get the three star easy because the read was excellent uh, on this base. Yeah, I think so, I think everyone yeah. who wants the attack loved loved the plan overall and knew that it was that you were able to tweak it. The main thing was that loon deployment at nine. I should have mentioned that while it was going on, unfortunately during the attack. But the loon deployment at nine, if it was a little bit higher, it had it would have passed to the air defense as the second defense. I'm pretty sure. Um, yes. But it completely like whiffs past the air defense, so that was a big that was a big costly error. But again, it was the it was just the accumulation of a whole bunch of little things there. Um, so yep. uh, I'm gonna just go into your replay and hit pause yep. real quick. Um, so a few things like we talked about in the attack that you recognize. First of all, um, was the was the uh, where you exactly you drop your queen for the uh, for the queen walk? You, so you make a little bit of adjustment there. Key, uh, you preserve her ability, and then you you realize there's a lot of black mines down around uh, the queen chamber. So yes. Um, so you, you in the end decided to adjust your whole all of your dragon deployment all together. Um, so what what was your plan? Where did you want to move your dragons? Like what, what was your plan going in here? Okay, uh, I, I made a couple of adjustments on, on his attack, like you mentioned, the, the queen deployment, I thought that it could be a little bit improved, and then uh, I read, the, fortunately enough, all four uh, black bombs were exposed, and uh, I knew that if I avoided the zone, like, there, there were two right next to the queen, like out there, just exactly to prevent this drag attack or baby drags or something. Uh, so I wanted to avoid that at all costs. And then the other two were uh, one was on the expo compartment, the one expo that is down, and the other one is just far away on the most uh, three um, located eight air defense. So I, I was um, positive that my queen would negate that air, that uh, black bomb. The other one I would have to try and soak up. And then um, I thought that I, I didn't really need uh, to start and kill the queen very early. And because I knew there was a hound there also, um, I kind of made a read and I thought, hey, um, I can start from the other side. So um, I, I quickly look at ranges and so on and I know exactly when I when I could drop everything. Basically, the most important thing I want to highlight is that I can drop an early dragon to help the funnel because the air defense is not in range uh, for the couple of uh, starting buildings. Like a dragon dropped at nine a little bit early can kill the builder's hut, another builder's hut, and maybe um, even the uh, the um, what's it called? The elixir mine. Pump, yeah, right? exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Or, or the other building, uh, any, anyways, without being hit be, uh, by that air defense. The thing is that as soon as the first uh, air defense is down and you know that your queen is safe, you can forget about her because you don't, you know that the CC is not going to be triggered and you know that he, she, she will safely go towards the other air defense. So uh, then I will path towards that air defense faster with a lower lava hound. I thought that I didn't need that. And uh, the the second part of the read that I made was that uh, if I let a couple of dragons go on the left hand side, and if I brought a couple of loons on my CC rather than uh, rather than a, a lava hound, uh, those loons will pass from the cannon towards the air defense, and then uh, that that means that I can use that uh, dark elixir storage kind of as a funneling thing. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, I mean by that that if I sent, uh, let's say, the other four uh, dragons I had from the top of that D storage, uh, what means is that then they target the wizard tower that will still be up, and then they'll go towards the middle of the base, uh, because the other buildings are not there. Like, once the loons kill the cannon and the air defense, uh, like the path for those dragons are just straight up towards the Tesla farm, which was the other big concern of this of this base. And um, if I was certain that that path could be preserved, uh, I was I was quite sure that I could use the BK anywhere, uh, helping clean up the buildings from the outside or whatever, and I'd be I'd be fine. And that's what I execute. Yeah, absolutely, it's real good. That's a good eye on that. That knowing that the CC with some quick balloons in there. 
um, taking the cannon and the air defense down. It leaves, you know, the whole 12 o'clock section was taken up by the queen. So the only buildings that were left literally path right towards the, the Tesla farm over, yep. at, the, over at three o'clock. Yep. Um, yeah. So I think that was, those were great adjustments. Absolutely. Um, anything else you want to add before we just kind of jump in and watch you live here? Yes. All right. <clears throat> so you start with the same minis, I believe. You just spread them out a little bit uh, better, yep. I think. Yeah, just a minor thing. Yeah, very minor. Get that archer down quickly on that builder's hut. Give it a few more seconds. And... There goes yeah, there's... Zap Quake. Another important thing to note is that I think it's important for people to realize when to do everything. Like, if you have minions working for you and uh, you have to wait for 5 or 10 seconds, it's that's absolutely okay. And those 5-10 seconds can be used for uh, for you to zap quake something or so on. Rather than starting with a zap quake and then dropping the minions, I think that uh, those 5 seconds then eventually might be needed at the end of the raid if something goes wrong. And yeah. uh, I think that's something to keep in mind. I think Sports Buff did it anyways, because he's like a very good attacker. And uh, But that's something that maybe someone wants to keep in mind for their attacks. Yep, absolutely. I agree with that 100%. And you can see even just how that queen, uh, just a little cleaner, right? Obviously, you still have that ability. All the, you know, you got the same value without having to use the ability. That's basically what they came yep. down to. Um, you know, the early drags, like you said, at nine, in come those balloons, that hound on there tanking away. So as soon as that air defense goes down, you know there's only one place now for your drags to go. Cut right across that base, right towards that Tesla farm, right towards that defensive queen. Exactly what you want. Yep. Sweeper's giving you a little bit of shit, but... Yes, that sweeper, you never think about that one, and it always fucks you up a little bit, but yeah. hey. Nice, too, that black uh, mine that was near the Archer Tower that got soaked up by a um, pup, I believe. Yes. Yeah. That was or really not. helpful, and was also was it a pup or was it the loon? I'm not sure. It was, it was, it was the loon. It was yeah. the loon. And then there's this hero dragon that will kill all the Tesla farm plus the queen, which is awesome. Yeah, down goes that defensive queen. See so yeah. <laughs> Another two little loons in there to help out, and it's GG for sure. And I like yeah. how the entire attack all met up at six o'clock. That's kind of what I like better about. The overall plan was you're you're basically pincering either side of the base um, and meeting up at the end. Exactly. Like uh, a couple of notes, or uh, just to end up, uh, is that uh, your dragons likely from one side to the other for a base need a couple of minutes, maybe a little less. So you have to think that you can start your queen walk, but you cannot be very very late when deploying your dragons. That's one. And the other thing to do is like uh, I want to mention that notice how. I had almost all the dragons alive for the whole raid, uh, which means that I had a lot of troops that were doing a lot of DPS for the whole time. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean it seems that it doesn't mean much, but it meant 30 extra seconds for me uh, because of all those buildings were killed much faster. Even if it's uh, uh, like I don't know a town hall or the CC, uh, those buildings are not damaging you. But if if uh, something is hitting you or you need to kill uh, last uh, defense or something, hey those uh, 100 HP here, 200 HP there. Oh, well, it adds up. It adds up. Yep. Absolutely. Um, yeah, awesome job. Awesome cleanup. Awesome war for 2.0. I was really happy that we were able to uh, jump out here 1-0. And, oh and um, yeah, uh, searching next Thursday for uh, the week two CWL. They just got everyone pumped up. I mean, it's that healthy competition. Um, I was saying in the, in the actual recap video, Grady, that you know we had opted out as a, as a leadership team just because we we're just being cautious because we've seen these things sort of blow up into drama fests, and you don't you never know the direction it's going to take. So. We were just kind of being cautious, and then I think we were um, a lot of clans had a similar mind frame because then they come up with this mid season like been perfect timing for us because we were just talking about wanting to sign up, and and there we go. So yes, exactly. Hats off to their their leadership, the administration of the CWL league. They are doing a fantastic job, and they are making like like an interesting thing for the war scene. I think even Supercell is interested on in that. So hey, hats 100%. off to them. And uh, let's make it interesting for them 
and let's give them good attacks. And uh, also for us in 2.0, I think that really revamped us and uh, made us just, I don't know, maybe work together a little more and have that extra motivation. Uh, everyone wants to do great and everyone is uh, willing to, to be the team player and help and do their part. So that's really great. And I think that we got 84 stars just because of it. Yeah. A lot of teamwork, a lot of teamwork, and it's awesome to be part of it. Absolutely, man. Well, uh, thanks for coming out, Grady. I appreciate you doing this video with me. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No worries. Uh, my pleasure. It's always, always good to uh, spread your knowledge because uh, I know uh, you're one of the guys in, uh, that everyone leans on in the clan. So it's much appreciated, my friend. But uh, I think that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser, just trying to help the bag that next tree start. Till then, we're out.